Hi everyone, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're going to be drawing Fiona the Friendly Fox. Okay, so this is Fiona the Friendly Fox. And uh, like usual for a Drawing Club, you're going to need a few things. You'll need your pencil sharpener, you'll need a pencil, you might need an eraser, and you'll need a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline your drawing when you're done. Okay. So as usual, I am going to use a gray marker to do my um, the drawing that you will do with a pencil, uh, just so you guys can see it easier. Okay. So Fiona starts with a kind of almost a diamond shape for her head. It's um, but with rounded corners. So kind of like this. You can see it's not quite an oval shape and not quite a diamond shape. Okay. Now foxes, like Fiona, have big ears. So I'm going to make two big triangles on each side of her head. One there. And one here. And I'm going to give her her eyebrows next because uh, on this picture Fiona has a slightly worried expression and so like I said before the eyes really show us a lot about how someone is feeling and so you can see that she's got these eyebrows that are curving downwards a little bit that show she's a little bit worried. I'm going to draw two circles for her eyes. One circle there and another circle there. And I'm going to do what I usually do. I'm going to put some light shining in her eyes as well. This usually makes the character seem a bit more cute. So it's a kind of like a bean shape there. And another one there. And then a smaller bean on the other side of her eye. Just like this. And then Fiona is a uh, girl fox, which girl foxes have a special name. They're called vixens. So I'm going to uh, give her some longer eyelashes the sides of her eyes, just like that. And three little curving lines on the other side, just like that. And for her nose, I'm going to put it right down here at the, uh, the bottom of her face, and it's going to be a little triangle, just like that. Now for Fiona's body, I'm going to draw a kind of a long oval shape. Going down and around back up again. And for her legs, for her back legs, um, I'm going to draw a kind of a half heart shape, just like that. And then I'm going to draw three little circles down here to show where her toes are on her back foot. And then I'm going to connect the two lines, just like that, so we can see the top of her foot. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So like the other half of that heart shape comes out back in and then a big toe and a smaller toe and another circle for the last toe. And I'm going to connect the top of the foot to the back leg. Now her front legs, I'm going to just draw two straight lines coming right down like that. And then for the uh, her front foot or her front paw, we'll just do the same again. We'll do the, the toes. One, two, and three. And a little line to show the top of the foot. And a little line just connecting to show the bottom of the foot there too. And I'll do the same for her other front leg. Two lines coming down to show the sides of the leg. And then the three toes. One, two, three, and then the top of the foot, and the bottom of the foot, just like that. Now foxes, of course, have very big bushy tails. That's one important thing about foxes. So I'm going to draw the tail coming back, a big sweeping curving line, just like that. And then I'm going to draw the other side or the top of the tail, just like this comes to a point. And then the back of the tail is going to be a bit thinner, so I'm going to 
bring my line in a bit closer to the top line, just like that. And now because I just realized I forgot to put in the bottom of the back feet, I'm going to put a little line there to show the bottom of the back foot and a little line there to show the bottom of the other back foot. Uh, next we'll do the inside of the ears. So we will just make a line coming down like this for the inside of that part of the ear and then the same again right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of a tuft of fur just inside that ear. And I'm going to do the same on the other ear and trace down like that and a tuft right there. Um, another important piece of a fox is the white part at the end of their tail. So I'm going to put some zigzag lines just to show that the if I was coloring it, I would color this part white or leave this part white and then color this part the orange because I'm drawing a red fox. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is, oh no, there's two more pieces. Okay, so the second last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a little bit of another tuft of hair right here at the top of her head. And then I'm going to give her, um, foxes have a white fur kind of patch at the front here. So I'm going to use some zigzag lines to show the white fur and the same again on the other side, some zigzag lines to show that white fur on her front. And that is my underdrawing that I did uh, with my black, sorry, with my gray marker, but of course you should have used a pencil. And now we're going to trace over it again and just make it look a bit more strong and powerful and a bit more um, easy to see. And also this is the part where I can change some of my lines if I need to change some and change some shapes. Okay, so I'm going to start again with the ears, I think, this time. And I'm just going to trace over my lines carefully with my black. Now the reason that foxes have such big ears is because they have to be very good at hearing. And they can actually hear the sounds of small animals like uh, mice, um, running around even under the ground, they can hear that. So uh, their big ears are very important for them to be able to find the, their food. I'm gonna trace the other big ear here, just like this. Now here where I live on Prince Edward Island, we have lots and lots of these beautiful red foxes. And you can sometimes see them in the evening when you're driving or when you're walking around. And sometimes they come right here behind my house where I live and I can hear the dogs sometimes get mad because they don't like the foxes to be back there. And, uh, but I think they're very beautiful animals. They always look very smart to me, foxes. So um, Fiona is actually not quite a grown up fox. She is what's called a fox pup or a fox cub. And she probably lives in a hole in the ground that uh, she dug or that was dug for her by her family, which is called a den. Uh, but sometimes foxes actually live in, in holes in trees as well. And when I look at her, I'm wondering why is she looking so worried? And it makes me think that when I was small, I used to worry about things sometimes. And I sometimes used to worry if, if it seemed like everyone else was good at something or already knew how to do something. And it used to make me worried that maybe if I had to do it in front of other people that I wouldn't be good at it or I might be embarrassed or I might just not know what to do. And so I think that might be what Fiona is worried about. She might be seeing some of the other fox cubs who are already very good at um, listening for mice and catching a mouse and she's not really very good at it yet. And so she's spending a lot of time worrying about that. And what I learned when I was young was that that wasn't the best thing to do. It wasn't the best thing to worry about things and not tell anybody that you were worried about them. And so instead, I think what Fiona should do is probably just tell somebody that she is friends with or somebody in her family what she's worried about, and maybe they can 
They can give her some advice or some help, or they could teach her, or they could even tell her maybe it's not such an important thing to worry about. So she could stop feeling so anxious about it. Okay, so I'm going to go around the legs again here. And these little toes, I'm not going to trace completely around the circles I made, just so that it looks like the toes are in front. Another thing, so I was reading a bit about foxes before I made this video, and I learned that foxes are actually quite stinky, which was a surprise to me. Sometimes they can even smell as bad as a skunk. And they're such pretty animals, so I was surprised to find out that they can be so smelly. And I also found out that they are part of the dog family, but like cats, they're actually very good at climbing trees. And they're also the smallest people in the dog family. I'll trace around her little toes again, just like that, and then around the bottom of her body, just like this. And then last and most important, I think, for a fox again, is that beautiful, big, bushy tail that they have. Just like this. There we go. And the zigzag pattern. Just like that. Okay, and that is Fiona the fox. I hope that she stops worrying so much and she tells somebody that she trusts about what she's worried about and maybe that they can help her. All right. So today we have another gallery of glory from some of the students who have been sending me in the pictures. So um, after we are done, uh, make, please make sure that you stay uh, watching the video to see some of those great drawings that people have been sending to me. So here's just one more picture of Fiona again in color. So you can see I use some orange, I use some red, I use a little bit of purple and blue in her eyes, and then I used gray and a little bit of light um, or darker gray or black for the bottom of her feet.